Can't you hear the sounds? Mistletoe and two little turtle doves Snow is falling down All right, y'all, pins down. I want to thank you all for a wonderful semester. I hope you got a lot out of it and learned from me as much as I learned from you. So enjoy your break and happy holidays. All right, make sure you place the test on the desk before you leave my classroom. All right, I don't want to hear any, I forgot, okay? No test, no passing grade.
that I did you do? I think I did all right. But when in doubt, choose the C is always the best route. Oh, right? Jalen, Jalen, come on, man. Just play, Mr. W. Come on. I think I crushed it. Thanks to you and all the after school tutoring. Nah, that was all you. You put in the work, and I was just here to guide you along. Either way, I appreciate you for everything you did for me. You coming back after the break, right? <sighs> I don't know, Jalen. But regardless, if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Cool. Thanks, Mr. W. You're welcome. And go enjoy your break. And have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Same to you. Bye, Miss Hathaway. Bye, Jalen. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. Thank you. What? Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> you. You are the reason. I am so impressed at this impact that you are having on these kids. I'm just doing my job. Mm -mm. See, a couple of months ago, no one could get Jalen to crack open a book, let alone a smile. No, Rashad, you are doing way more than just your job. You are truly making a difference here. Well, when I took the job, I told myself that I wasn't going to be anything like the teachers we had when we were growing up. Like Miss Rose. Rose and Harowitz. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe she's still teaching. She got to be like a thousand years Look, old. Look, to this day, I still have nightmares about how she used to get all up in our faces and yell at us. Yes, with that hot, rancid breath. Look, we did not call her the dragon lady for nothing, okay? <laughs> Listen, when I came back here to teach, I purposely walked all the way around to the other hallway just so I didn't have to pass her classroom. Well, I feel you. I just hope that these kids look back on and say these were some of the best times of their lives, even if it was for a few months. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, this could go from temporary to full-time real quick. That would be nice. I'm just glad I'm able to impact and inspire these kids. And plus, you know, I'm not anywhere near broke, but the steady, consistent paycheck doesn't hurt either. True, but I mean, there is always your writing, right? Yes, my writing, my heart's desire, my first love. But too bad the public doesn't love my writing as much as I do. Oh, stop, don't say that. I mean, your book was amazing. Okay, so why did my book tour end early? Oh, come on, Rashad. You know that there were a lot of factors that played a part in that, okay? I mean, look at what's going on around us in this world. Look, despite the fact that your book tour did end early, that does not negate the fact that you are a brilliant and talented writer, okay? You have to say that. Um, excuse me. The only thing that I have to do is be black, be blessed, and uh, be a bad boss. <laughs> no, but seriously, Rashad. God truly gave you a gift. Don't you ever forget that. Thank you. And once again, I appreciate you getting me this teaching job. Hey, what are friends for? Now you know better than that. We are more than just friends. Mm. We're family. We are, come here. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. No PDA on school property. Oh no, we didn't. No, we weren't. We would. No, we would never. never. I, no, we, he's just is, my friend. I wouldn't even. I even think it wasn't even like that. We're just I friends. I don't even <laughs> know. I, I, I'm just messing with y'all, man. Relax. I don't give a damn what you do. School is out. The kids are gone. Go on and get a couple of drinks. Cause when I get home, I'm knocking back ten. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but that's not what I wanted to talk with you about. I have some news. Okay. Mrs. Rosen Harowitz is officially retiring. So that means that she won't be coming back to teach next semester. Yes! I, I mean, I, I mean, we are truly, truly going to miss her around here. Right? Right. Yeah. Mm. Mm. With that being said, Mr. Williams. Yes, sir. <laughs> I would like to offer you a teaching position here, full time, with benefits. Oh, uh, wow, I, I don't know what to say. Well, say something, damn it. Some of us have got to do. Okay. 
Can I take some time to think about it? Of course, of course, take your time. But I just need your answer by Christmas Eve, all right? Yes, sir. Well, with that being said, happy holidays to you both. Enjoy your time off. Because I know I will. I know I will. <laughs> happy holidays, Mr. Morris. Uh, Rashad, what is going on? I mean, you were literally just going on and on about how you love teaching. And now this opportunity just falls into your lap. What is there to think about? You know I have to talk to Lauren about this first. Oh, right. Her. You mean my uh, fiance? No, I meant exactly what I said. I just don't understand why you two don't like each other. Oh. Well, maybe it's because she's a manipulative, cold-hearted, conniving bitch. Faye. Sorry. Sorry. I just want my two favorite people to just get along. Yeah, that'll happen when hell freezes over. Ooh. Did it just get cold here? Do you feel that chill? Like, oh my gosh, I'm oh, shivering. Boy, like, bye. Look, cold. okay, that's enough, all right? <laughs> Look, I will see you later, okay? Okay. All right, see you later. A mess. I mean, hi, Lauren. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Well, as you probably heard, Faye's alternator died and we had to take her car to the shop. And then I gave her a ride back here. So what's wrong with her legs? She couldn't walk. You know, I would if I could walk on all fours like you. Anyway, we're just waiting on them to call her back to see when her car will be ready. <laughs> I see. You know what, actually, now that I'm here, I can just walk home, okay? I mean, I do just live up the block, so. Yeah, I think that'd be best. <laughs> uh, no, no. Don't be silly. You can wait here, and we can all just sit and chill and relax together. Yeah, together. <laughs> I love fun. <laughs> So, how was your day, sweetie? 
good. Yeah, I, I bet it was when all you do is watch soap operas all day and spend your fiance's money. Faith. What? Truth hurts. And my fist will too when I knock your teeth out. Ladies, what? ladies, ladies, please. Kids took their finals, and by first glance, I think they did pretty well. I just hope that I'm making them impact. Speaking of wedding plans, um, I don't recall anyone mentioning a little rickety way. Uh, we need to go ahead and finalize everything: the location, the color, the floor arrangements. And all I hear is more and more money being depleted from my bank account. See, this is why we need to go ahead and set up another book tour. I mean, I would, but... He can't. Because today he received an offer to teach full time. What? I, uh, I was planning to tell you later. But, yeah. Principal Morris offered me a teaching position on a permanent full-time basis. Oh. But what about your book? I mean, if you wait too late to get out there, people are not going to give two craps about it. You have to stay focused about this, Rashad. But what about my students? Screw that fool in the right man's kids! Um, excuse me, I'm not about to let you talk about our students that way. And besides, if anything is rotten in here, it's coming from between your Faye, damn- Faye, Faye, relax. Look, you know how much my writing means to me. And of course, I would go on another book tour. Lord knows we can use the extra money, especially with the added pressure of planning for this wedding. Are you saying marrying me is frustrating? <laughs> <coughs> no, 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 of course <clears throat> not. I cannot wait to make you Mrs. Rashad Williams. Mm, I can't wait to become Mrs. Rashad Williams. We should get married on Christmas. I always want to be a Christmas bride. Yeah, like next Christmas. No, this Christmas, as in the next few days. What are you, wonderful? <laughs> Faye, what are you doing? I am just looking for something red that I can wave. You know, like a damn flag, Rashad, a red flag. Take this. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Rashad. Hey, I got some good news for you, man. Okay, what is it? I'm on the verge of working out a multi-book deal for you with Yarborough Publishing. They want to publish your next three books. Are you serious? As serious as macaroni and cheese at a black family function. But look, here's the thing. The powers that be, they appreciate what you did with your first book independently, but they want to make sure that these books sell. So with that being said, you really need to think about doing another leg of your book tour after the holidays. Hmm. Okay. I'm okay. What's wrong? Nothing. I just, I just need a little more time to think about it. 
All right, man. Hey, take your time, but don't wait too long. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This could do wonders for you. Both of us. Yeah. I appreciate you, Kyle. I'll hit you later. All right, bro. Hey, yeah. I'll talk with you later. Just a few seconds along with that wish just makes my skin crawl. Okay. What did Cal on, babe? He's in talks of uh, securing a three book publishing deal. That's what's up. Congratulations! Yeah, but they need some guarantee that the books will sell. Kyle wants me to go back on tour. See, I told you. It's a sign. But what about the kids? But what about us? Beck, you and I are about to be husband and wife soon. It's time for you to start focusing on what's best for us. And what's best for us is for you to go on tour, sell these books, make this money, secure our future. You're right. I know I am. Remember, I only want what's best for you. For us. I do too. I love you, Lauren. I love you, Rashad. I'm gonna go check on Faye. Of course. What? I mean, it's always something with Faye. I mean, you grew up together, you went to school together, you live near each other, you work together. Just a little bit too much together for me. Come on, babe. She is my best friend. There's absolutely nothing going on between us. We are strictly and platonically just friends. Mm-hmm. That's what they all say till they get the booty. That's not true. Well, what about me and you? Me and you were... Just friends at one point. Oh, you? Oh, no, I just wanted the booty. I'm serious! <clears throat> Listen, I am too. You have nothing to worry about. I love you and only you. That. It's an alert on that loser dating site you made me join. It's saying that I have a new match. Let's see. Oh, and it is a hell no for me. Ugh. Come on, Faye. You didn't even give it a chance. Look, Rashad, I gave up on love a long time ago, okay? And besides, when I look at you and Lyron, I think to myself, I don't want any parts of that. Really? Mm -hmm. You know what? How about this? I'm done with this app, and I'm done with men. So, <sighs> what's next? Women? <laughs> so she can run them out too. You know what? Maybe I should try to get with you, so that way you'll run away and never come back. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. <sighs> yes, yes, I understand. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, 
What's up? Well, they have to order a new alternator for my car, which won't be in until tomorrow. So it looks like I'm walking home. What you should have done in the first place. So, bye bye. Ooh, let me get on up out of here before I have to play a game of a slap a ho ho ho. Bye, Rashad. See you, Faith. What's good, beautiful? I know that's not who I think it is. In the flesh. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what's, what's up, good, man? Hey, good, man. How are you? Man, I'm doing all right, man. Excellent, man. Yeah, man. I've been around, but I see. Man, it's, it's the same old stuff. I see, it's man. Minding your business, bro. It's so good to see you, fam. Trust me, man. It's just good to be seen, bro. man. God, geez. <laughs> however, it's even better to be able to witness this vision of beauty standing in front of me. Faye Hathaway, <laughs> now listen, tell me how it is that all these years have passed. And you still look as beautiful now as you did when we were in high school. <laughs> Someone need to get their eyes checked. <laughs> Too bad we can't all spend our fiance's money on Botox and surgery to look as plastic as you, Lauren Carr Fakian. Lauren, this is uh, Elijah DeVoe. He grew up and went to school with me and Faye. Elijah, this is my fiance, Lauren Collins. Soon to be Lauren Williams. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. Hey, 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 watch yourself. Just being a gentleman, man, to this image of beauty. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go so you guys can catch up. <laughs> Where you going, babe? I'm gonna do some stuff for the wedding. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Man, listen, it is good to see you, bro. Man, listen, man, it's been so long. Get this coat off, man. Man, 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 man. catch up, man. Yeah. Look at you, man. Man, look, man. look, get comfortable, man. We got a lot of catching up. Yeah, come on. Down, 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 man. Right. Oh. I thought you were leaving. I got some. <laughs> So I just got back from a missions trip in Uganda. Oh man, it is so beautiful over there. Mm. I mean, to be able to witness and spread the gospel in the very same land that our ancestors walked on. And then I, I had the privilege to be able to baptize new believers in the Nile River. <laughs> it's just such an amazing experience. That sounds so beautiful, Elijah. Man, this is so crazy. Never in a million years would I have imagined you, <laughs> of all people, going on mission trips and baptizing folks. I know. Uh, neither, neither can I. But, um, you know, life has a, a funny way of putting you on the right path. But 
Um, in my my certain circumstance, it was a certain young woman. <laughs> See? See, I knew there was a female involved, okay? Uh, you men are all alike. My goodness. <laughs> anyway, goodness. who was she? Thank you. Yeah, so her name is Desiree, right? I met her at, uh, I don't know, some event. Uh, and she gave me her phone number. Little did I know, it was the number to a mission group. So, you know, I called. And, you know, I played the game, right? Went to a couple meetings. Because uh, eventually, I knew I was going to get her. Well, it wasn't until this one day that I got hit with a question that changed my life forever. And that was, what do you think God's purpose is for your life? Mm. I, I felt some BS at first, right? Because I truly didn't know myself. And it wasn't until after my first missions trip that I realized the answer to that question is to go out and teach all nations and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit. And, uh, I mean, to just, to just see how those people's lives changed just to hear the good news about God, mm -hmm. to see how their eyes lit up just from knowing that God loves them so much, no matter what, it was, it was just something that, you know, truly, truly changed my life. But on top of that, I had the opportunity to go and baptize these same people in the exact same spot that Jesus Christ was baptized in. <laughs> it just changed my life forever. Mm. Man, that's good. I'm so happy for you, Elijah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, mm. but, but what's with all this Elijah talk, right? Hmm? Why aren't you calling me Lumpy? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh, what? You used to call me Lumpy. Look, that was just a nickname given to you out of love and affection. Oh. You know, like a term of endearment. Mm. Yeah. Cut the crap, okay? Now, I know you call me lumpy because I was so big that my titties were bigger than yours. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Look, I'm so sorry. Really, I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's all good. You know what helped me get on top of my health? I lost the weight. Look at me now. Trust me. I'm looking. Y'all still here? Hey, babe, uh, we ordered pizza. I saved you a slice. Mm, I had dinner with a friend. Uh, you already ate? <laughs> you have a friend? After I was done with the wedding things, I met with a friend from yoga class. We ate. No big deal. I'm tired. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Good night, gentlemen. Uh, I'm still here. Yeah, I know. I said gentlemen. Chill. Man, listen. 
You talking about me? I can't believe you're actually getting married. Yeah, man. I found my one. Huh? <gasps> Stop it. I just I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know, I I gotta be honest. I can't lie. I can't believe you two actually never got together. Just think that after all this time, we were just naturally. Who? <laughs> Me and Rashad? Oh, <laughs> hell no! No, uh uh. Yuck! yuck. Well, no. Well, damn. Right. I love you too, Faye. No. Rashad is like my brother. Like, literally, okay? We just recently found out that my dad used to date his mom back when they were in high school. Ugh, no. Yeah, and in another life, we'll be real life siblings. Mm -hmm. And it would be weird to even think about some boyfriend and girlfriend stuff after finding out that. Okay, I guess. Besides, some friendships just aren't worth the risk of losing. I mean, because once you turn that corner, there is no going back, okay? I see. But what's a life without risk? No risk, no reward. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, bro, tell us where else have you been? Yeah, um, been to Egypt, uh, South Korea, Turkey. Mm. Oh, man, it's so beautiful over there. The people, the culture, the architecture, just being able to, to minister, live amongst the people is just... No good. Uh, no, that was just you, <laughs> Dennis the Menace. Uh, no, more like Chucky. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, I wasn't that bad. Oh, really? Okay, let's see. Do y'all remember in fifth grade when we had show and tell? Oh no, not this story. Mm -hmm. Oh sh yeah. So <laughs> instead of bringing a toy to school, this fool decides to pull down his pants and show everybody his business. Hey, 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 look, listen, I can't help it that I was blessed and highly favored at an early age. I just wanted to share it with everybody. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> well, you weren't so blessed and highly favored when your mama came up to the school <laughs> and whooped that ass in front of everybody. Man, I'm still hurting from that one. That is what your manish ass gets, okay? Well, you sure was looking. <laughs> I was not. Oh, but, bro, you remember that? <laughs> she said, I want to see. I want to exactly. see. I would never. You remember that? Like that? Um, some of us is trying to sleep. Damn! Is it Christmas time or is it Halloween? <laughs> nah, it's time for your ass to go. You... Uh -huh. My bad, babe. We'll shut it down. Thank you. Oh, boy. I, mm -hmm. I um, got so caught up in catching up with you guys, I forgot to check see if they're available hotel rooms. Man, shut that up. You're staying here, and I'm not taking no for an answer. All right, then. Well, let me get on to the house. All right, let me get my keys. Boy, bye. I live up the street, remember? I can walk home. I'll walk with you. Oh, no, that's okay, but thank you, Elijah. Uh, there's no way I'm going to let you walk out there by yourself this time of night. No, really. I'll be fine. Trust me. The only scary things in this neighborhood are the loud-ass bugs and that creature that's sleeping in Rashad's bed, okay? Hey. <sighs> no, seriously. I don't need you to walk me home. I know you don't need me to, but I want to. Okay, well, if you insist. I do. <laughs> Thank 
Oh, allow me. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Good night, Rashad. Good night, Faye. A, E. Just lock up when you get back in. I got you. You all right? Yeah, just uh, taking it all in. You know, cold, crisp air, the Christmas vibe, the whole holiday spirit. It truly is the most wonderful time of the year. It's funny. I don't remember you being so gung-ho for the holidays. Yeah, well, you know, when you've been to those places where there are people who are far less fortunate, you know, don't even have the ability to enjoy cold water and water or fear for their lives because of their faith, you really start to appreciate the little things. Oftentimes the things that we take for granted. I hear you. Uh, I'm talking too much. Huh? No, 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 no. Listen, I enjoy listening to you talk. Yeah. I uh, also love this time of the year because it's a constant reminder of what's truly important in life. Oh, really? And what is that? Love. God's love and our love for other people. Well, I will take God's love any day. That other love crap, it is not for me. Thank you for walking me home, Elijah, even though it was entirely unnecessary. Well, you're welcome, even though it was entirely my pleasure. Good night, Elijah. Good night, Faye. My bad about tonight, babe. I promise I'll make it up to you. Can we have a Christmas wedding? Sure, sure, babe. Whatever, whatever you want. Everyone. My wedding is going to be the talk of the town. It's going to be 
the wedding club is dead. Yes, yes, I see it now, I see it now. Oh. Okay, I'll be as you live. Okay. Oh, the mayor? Yes, me, for, for me. Absolutely, why not? Okay. The governor? Okay. Yes, well, Brock, I have a connection. I want candles, yes. lights, oh. everywhere. Oh. I want the biggest, most extravagant yes. Christmas wedding ever. Oh. Everyone going to be talking about for the rest of their lives in my dress. Oh my gosh. I want the biggest yes. and longest oh. train all down the aisle. Oh, and there he is now. The gallivanting groom has finally awakened from his slumber. Huh? Ladies? Oh. This is Rashad. Rashad, this is Valencia Van Vincent, wedding planner. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice grip. Well, that's what all of my men say. <laughs> Anywho, this is my assistant, Annie. <laughs> nice to meet you, Rashad. Same here. <laughs> Lauren, what the hell is going on here? Baby, Valencia's playing our fabulous Christmas wedding. Huh? Remember, last night you said that I can have my dream Christmas wedding. I was half asleep and tipsy. So what now? You're changing your mind? You're reneging on marrying me? Nobody likes to renege <laughs> Let's do it. Let's have our Christmas wedding. Fantissimo! It's great, baby! Because I already paid the down payment for Valencia services. Which are non-refundable. Okay, chop chop, because we have so much to get done in less than 36 hours to get it all done in. Let's get married! It's that time of year And I feel like moving home From the sound of Christmas I feel the groove Oh, okay. 
get to meet these girls. Yes. Oh, and the way. Way. Uh, okay. No, I don't have time for this. Ugh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Hey, Rashaj, just me. Don't worry. I locked myself out of the house. Just my luck, right? Ooh. Anyway, I just came to get my spare key, okay? So I'll be out of your hair in just a moment. Um, oh, no, I know. That's I just figured I'd use your bathroom while you guys were out. Uh, my bad. I gotta get that fixed. And what's your excuse? Uh, a key. Lock. Door. Naked man. Uh, uh, okay, bye. <laughs> you'd like to know that your bestie and I will be getting married on Christmas Day. What? <laughs> Rashad, what is going on? Uh, didn't you hear? We're uh, getting married. I know. My ears haven't stopped bleeding since you told me the bad news. What do you mean you're getting married on Christmas Day? You mean in two days from now? Yes. <laughs> My baby and I will be getting married on Christmas Eve night to be exact and when the clock strikes 12 it will be officially Christmas Day and we will be officially Mr. and Mrs. Rashad Williams. Surprise! Surprise my ass! Something smells fishy. <laughs> that will be you dear. Rashad, why are you rushing to ruin your life and get married? Because we are in love and we're ready. 
to spend the rest of our lives together. I was talking to Rashad. And I was talking to you. You know what? I'm sick of your ass. What you want to do? Mr. Future New York Times best-selling author. These guys, it should not matter how much it costs. It's all about our love, right, babe? <coughs> Come down. <coughs> what did you say? Hello? I said gold digger. And speaking of money, have you two signed a prenup? Faith. Excuse me? Did I stutter? I said, did you two sign a prenup? I don't think that's any of your business. Oh, best believe me. Anything concerning that man right there, it is my business. I'll get it. Saved by the bell. Yo, yo, Rashad, hey, we need to talk, man. Look, everyone, it's Kyle. Kyle is here. What's happening, Lauren? Faye? Everybody else that I do not know? Okay. Bye. Bad news, there are no churches available the night of Christmas Eve. What? Oh my Jesus! My entire extravaganza is falling apart! What about my horse and carriage? What about my turtle dove? What about my wedding? I mean our wedding! Can't you hear? No church, no chance. That means that the wedding is canceled. Ooh, and that means that the Wicked Witch of the Holidays can finally pack up her broom and fly the hell away. Oh, I'm hungry. Is anybody else hungry? I could really go for some celebratory sandwiches. Anybody? Hey, wait, wait. Nothing is getting canceled, all right? We could just have the wedding here. <laughs> Small and simple. Simple? Nothing Valencia Van Vincent does is simple. Uh, okay, what about elegant and intimate? That I can do. Okay. okay. Kyle, what's up? Who's the best agent in the world? I don't know about the best, but I will say the finest. <laughs> oh, you better watch out there, man. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, um... I just got off the phone with the head of Yarborough Publishing and they want to give you a $100,000 advance. <laughs> yes, and she wants you to meet her in the office in Atlanta tomorrow morning to discuss the details. Tomorrow? Yeah. Christmas Eve. Exactly. Our uh, wedding. Yeah, that's fine. The meeting's early in the morning. Your wedding is not until late, late that evening. So you have more than enough time to come back to your wife-to-be and say I do. This is it, baby. This is our big break. Um, excuse me. You mean Rashad's big break, right? Well, we'll be husband and wife soon. So what's his is our so. So now, <laughs> it's all becoming very clear to me. Okay, you taking over this house, you convincing Rashad to take this book deal to go out on this tour, and you trying to rush this scam of a wedding. Oh my gosh. Girl, it is all a cover up. You don't love Rashad, you just love his money. Faith, that's enough, all right? You know I love you and I value our friendship, but I can no longer let you talk about my fiance and disrespect her. 
I love this woman with all my heart and I plan on spending the rest of my life with her. Now, I would love it if you two would bury the hatchet, but if you can't, then so be it. But from this point on, if you disrespect her, then you're disrespecting me. And I can't have that, especially not in our house. Fine. Fine. But don't you dare come running to me when she leaves you broke and heartbroken. Ugh. Thank you, baby. All right, come on, Shy, man. We got a lot of details to discuss before this meeting tomorrow. Come on, bro. Congrats. Let's not let the drama distract us. We have a wedding to eloquently execute. Yes. Yeah, I just used to ride shade and go and pick up my car. Because Rashad is being an ass. I know, mommy. I know that it's his decision. But I just know in my gut that there is something wrong with that girl in this entire relationship. Look, I gotta go. I love you too. Bye. Elijah, please come in. Um, what are you doing here? Well, I, I figured after everything went down today, you could probably use a little pick-me-up. So uh, I went and picked up your favorite bubble bath and uh, so you can enjoy some you time and, you know, take a nice, long, hot bath. How do you know what my favorite bubble bath is? Oh, I picked up on your scent. See, I pay attention to the little things. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, and uh, I, I bought some food so that I can cook you a dinner fit for a queen. Oh, no, no, no. Elijah, you do not have to go through that trouble. No, please. Think... Allow me to do this. Let me love on you.
I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, very good thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You indeed are breathtaking. Dinner's almost ready. How did you know? It's you. I pay attention to every detail when it comes to you. I'm gonna go check on the food. Okay. and started working on ideas for my next book. Oh, really? Do you mind sharing? Of course not. Well, it's about a man who's having a hard time choosing between his lover and his friends. So, I'm assuming that our protagonist is going to choose the lover's side, right? I don't know. He's undecided. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Mm. First of all, this book is not going to be about me or our relationship. And besides, if I were to choose a side, I would choose your side every time. Oh, thank you. And thank you for standing up for me today. You're welcome. Honestly, I should have did that a long time ago. I mean... I hate to admit this, but Faye was right about the prenup. Huh. Truthfully, we never really talked about it. Huh. And I don't want you or anyone else to say that I'm with you for your money. So if you want me to sign one, I will. Look, forget everybody else. I know you love me for me, just like I love you for you. And besides, prenups are for people that are planning a divorce. And I'm not planning a divorce. I just want to marry you and love you for the rest of our lives. Mm. Mm. Mm, no, 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 no. Wait a night. What? Are you serious? Dead ass. Dead ass, alive ass. I just want some. How did you learn how to cook like that? Well, when you've been a big guy like I was, you learn how to do your thing in the kitchen. But, you know, since I started my healthy eating lifestyle, I just learned how to cut the calories out and keep the flavor. Mm. Well, trust me, you can cook for me anytime, okay? <laughs> That's the plan. Oh, really? Do you mind sharing that plan with me? You'll just have to wait and see. There it is. That smile. It could light up any room. In my heart. That's sweet. So, tell me, how does someone with a smile like that cut off their hearts receiving love. I don't follow. Uh, last night you said something along the lines of keep that love crap. Why? 
Don't you want to be loved? Of course I do. I mean, doesn't everybody? Everybody wants to be loved. It's just, I just realized that I am just not willing to settle for anyone or anything to have it. Nobody should. You're referring to Rashad? Yeah. Which explains your blow up with him. You think he's settling by marrying Lauren? One hundred percent. Got it. So who was he? Huh? Who was the guy that broke your heart? The fool that left you so jaded that it caused you to close your heart off to receiving love. Oh, <laughs> you mean who are they? Let's see. Okay. Um, okay. So there was my college boyfriend. His name was Anthony. Um, our senior year, I found out that he was on the down low and had been cheating on me with Jason, his roommate. Oh, but don't worry. I got tested and I'm okay. Um, oh, then there was Lamar. He was married and had a whole baby on the way. Um, oh, then there was my fiance, Eric. He decided to break up with me at the altar, mm. okay? Because he wasn't ready to make the commitment. No. Yeah, and you know what? I'm sure that there were others sprinkled in here or there, but uh, I just decided to give you the highlights. Oh, man, I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. Nobody deserves to be treated like that, especially somebody like you. Thanks. I mean, after all that I've been through, it is just so hard to trust. I mean, I just realized that it is easier and much safer to just let the walls go up. I would rather have a closed off heart than a broken one. I see. You know what? Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Who broke your heart? I mean, who was the one that got away? Was it that Desiree chick you were telling us about? No, uh, it wasn't her, and a uh, broken heart uh, it couldn't be. I mean, how could there be? I was too afraid to tell her how I felt. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, who is she? She is sitting right in front of me. And I'm hoping that after tonight, she realizes how much I love her and that she deserves to be treated like a queen and loved like a goddess by the right man. And I'm praying that at the end of the night, she realizes that that man is me. Aren't you supposed to be practicing abstinence or something? Even a man like me has needs. Maybe it's the holidays, it's just me and you. The jingles playing, drinking. Watching the specials on Hallmark There's no other place That I would rather be than with you on this day Baby, I don't want it no other way on Christmas But to spend it with you, babe You, babe, you, babe Cause all I want for Christmas is
yeah, yeah, I'm sorry you and mom can't be at the wedding either. But I promise we'll have another ceremony and we can invite the entire family. Dad, hold on, I think this is my other line. Yes, I hope you and mom feel so much better and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right, love you. Hello? Rashad, Shane here. I was just calling to see if you made a decision about that teaching position yet. Um, not yet. Well, you have until 11.59 tonight to give me your answer, man. I gotta make plans for next year. Oh, Shane. Get off the phone. Now. Was that a whip I just heard? Well, gotta go. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Feliz Navidad, Happy Kwanzaa, all that good. Bye! Have you been naughty or nice? Oh, I've been a bad, bad boy. <laughs> 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 Come in. Rashad Williams. Nice to officially meet you. So sorry to call you in on Christmas Eve. It's okay. It just so happens to be my wedding day. Oh, okay. I mean, technically, it doesn't start until tonight, so wedding night. Anyway, it's all good. I am just grateful for the opportunity to sit down and meet with you. Well, good. Now come. Let's discuss your future. Here. I know. He's in Atlanta. Just like we planned. <laughs> Can't believe he took that bait. I know, right? And as soon as he inks that deal, we put that money in a safe place. Our little net sack. <laughs> mm, did you get that uh the Laprino thing handled? Yep. That's who was so Jay-Z and Beyonce crazy in love with me. He said he's not doing a prenup. So as soon as we say I do, that money's mine. Look, go digging, bitch. <laughs> I love it when you call me that. Mm -hmm. pause on forever yeah I've, I've had to pee for a really long time and i was just waiting for you to wake up so, what uh, oh boy you better go and use the bathroom you yeah. trying to catch a uti trying to be romantic go use the bathroom oh, oh right you said you're gonna okay. go okay all right yep. go ahead yep. oh my god yeah, I'll, be, I'll be right back be right okay back. What the 
hell? <sighs> so I was thinking that. What's going on? Love of my life. So you make love to me all night long, but you got some other woman blowing up your phone? Faye. No, see, <laughs> see, I knew that all that sweet talk, which is a bunch of. Oh, you men are all the same, and my dumbass falls for it every time. Love of my life is my daughter, Gabriella. <laughs> See, listen, now I know I just called myself dumb, but I am not that stupid to believe some crap like that. Excuse you? Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. I see Mommy let you open up your Christmas present early. You know, how you like the phone I got you? Thank you. I love it. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, uh, Gabriella, can you say hi to Miss Faye? Hi, Gabriella. Is that your daddy on the phone? Hey, Eva. Hi, Des. Um, who was that with you? She is cute. Hey, girl. <laughs> this is Faye, the one I told you about. Hi. <laughs> okay. I see why you all sprung and everything over there. I see you, playboy. You just make sure you do right by her. If you don't, you know I will come down there and I will do it. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. yeah. I'm going to talk to y'all a little later, okay? All right. Bye, Eli. Uh, bye. Uh. Um... So, Des and I, we tried the married thing. It just didn't work out. Why is that? Well, um, she confessed that she was attracted to women. And so it was mm -hmm. just right to end it. But I, I don't regret a single moment in it because Gabriella was the best thing to happen to both our lives. I mean, but what about Desiree? I mean, she just blew up your whole marriage. Yeah. But, um, at the end of the day, I couldn't be mad. Like, she was finally honest with me. And herself. And, you know, now she's able to live her truth and finally find that true love that she's looking for. Okay. And I'm hoping to do the same. Don't look at me like that. Why? Because you made me feel like such an ass. Look, I am so sorry, Elijah. It's cool. No, I really do owe you an apology. And I overshot one too. Well, look, I'm gonna head over to the house and get all cleaned up and everything. And when Rashad gets home, I'll make sure you two besties patch everything up, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'm about to hit the road now. Okay, be careful.
I love you. Okay. Right. I, I love you too. Bitch was trifling. Hey, ho, ho. Listen, listen. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Listen. You just keep being the great friend that you are. Okay? I'll take care of all of this. Okay. What's up? Hey. Okay, so why after hours and hours of sitting in holiday traffic did I have to come straight here? Look, Rashad, there's something that I need to tell you. Actually, bro, I need to be the one to tell you something. Okay, well, what is it? I'm getting married in a few hours and I need to get ready. Elijah caught Lauren and Kyle having sex in your room. What? Look, I'm so sorry, Rashad, but it's true. Elijah saw it with his own eyes. Rashad, I... I can't believe this. I know. You despise my relationship with Lauren so much what? that you go and make up some evil stuff like this? No! And to make matters worse, you bring Elijah into this mess? Rashad, I'm not lying! Save it. Bro, you need to calm down. No, you both need to stop. And you know what? Since you hate Lauren so much, don't worry about coming to my wedding. What? Just stay your ass at home. Just know that it may be a little less wedding guest than we planned. That's okay. We're starting our lives over anyway. So as long as I have you, that's all that matters. Exactly. Wait, isn't it bad luck to see the bride before the wedding? No, as long as you don't see my dress. Besides, our love surpasses any superstition. You're right. So... How did the meeting go? Did you sign the papers? Well, actually, I... I wonder who that could be. Probably Valencia with the decorations so they can start getting this place together. Lauren, this is my cousin Junior and his wife Aretha. Um, 
So what's your first name, Junior? Junior? <laughs> no, like what's your real name? Like who are you named after? My dad, Junior. Oh, oh so you're Junior Junior. Yeah. Yeah. She get it, she get it. Okay, um, what are you doing here? Well, I just talked with Uncle Dave, and he and Aunt Marjorie has caught the vet, so they won't be attending your wedding. So, right there now, it's time to hop on in our van and come on down and fill in for me. Watch you guys get hitched. Ooh, absolutely. I know, baby, I know you didn't think we was gonna let you get there without any actual family members, you know. No offense, but you know. <laughs> well, I'll actually have to care about what was said and the person that said it for me to have any, so none taken. Uh, no, 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 Rita, Rita, no! <laughs> I'm gonna finish getting ready. It's Christmas Eve, and I ain't got any extra money to be bailing you out of jail again. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. That little girl in there, oh, she better try Jesus. And not me. Talk, man. Look, if Faye sent you to spew more lies, I don't even. Nah, Faye didn't send me. Man, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you, man to man. What's good with you, bro? Know me, man. I would never lie to you. But forget about me. What about Faye? You know, she would never lie to you or do anything to intentionally hurt you. I know. So what is it about this woman that's worth throwing away 20 plus years of friendship? <laughs> I mean, listen, I know love and make you do some crazy things, but it should never take you to the extreme of making you push away your family and friends. You know what? It's your life. You gotta live it. So, forget about what I say, forget about what Faye says, forget about what anybody else says. What matters is, what does your heart say? Even more, what does God say? Well, I'm gonna get ready to go, man. I gotta take a shower, man. I smell like, uh... Yeah. We both know what you smell like.
Irish eyes. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you, and you look... Oh, I know, I'm a little silly. <laughs> no, absolutely stunning. Thank you. Um, um, uh, congratulations, um, and um, good luck. <laughs> I appreciate you. That's oh. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Rashad. What are you doing here? I realize that I love you more than I hate her. So I'm here. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate you doing this last minute, Pastor. You're more than welcome. As long as that check clears. Yes, sir. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here tonight to join Rashad Quincy Williams and Lauren Anastasia Collins in holy matrimony. Is there anyone that objects to these two being married? <laughs> well, I... Never mind. Never mind. Very well. Let us continue. Lauren, do you take Rashad to be a lawfully wedded husband? to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself solely to him and to death do you part? I do. Rashad, do you take Lauren to be a lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, for richer or for poorer, keeping yourself solely into her and to death do you part? I do. Not. Rashad! At least until I tell you the truth. Hey, what? Rashad, what the hell is going on? Baby, I haven't been honest with you. And before we become man and wife, it is my duty to be absolutely honest with you. Well, I thought about what you said about starting our new lives and starting over and decided that I would do just that with everything. Baby, I took the book deal. Yes! <laughs> but with all that money that I received from the advance and you know all my savings, I gave it to charity. What? What? Wow. And since I know how much you love to travel, I figured we'd go to Calcutta for our honeymoon. We can volunteer at an orphanage. Not only will we be getting away, we'll be giving back. Together. Mm. You, you do love me for me, right? <laughs> yeah. 
you said that as long as we have each other, that's all that matters. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, right? Mm. Yeah, um, <clears throat> um, I don't think I'm down with the whole poor, poor stuff. Um, but for real, for real, I, I think actually it's starting to sound more on the worst side. So I think I'm just gonna throw the deuces up and peace out. Have fun in Calcutta, bro. Come on, Cal. I, uh, <laughs> I knew that you would say that, Lauren. And I knew your ass would be right behind her, Kyle. <laughs> Especially since I know you two been sleeping with each other behind my back. Rashad, how, how did you I have security cameras. But of course you didn't know that. I actually had them installed before I moved in. Never thought I need to see the footage until now. Let you go. I'd like to give you a parting gift. That's for sleeping with my girl. Excuse me, ex girl. Behind my back and trying to steal my money. Go. Side. I'm too pretty to fight all y'all. Then go and get then. Get now. Go now. Let's just go. Let's get. Let's just go. Let's just. Let's just go. Uh -huh. I like that thing. I'm gonna bite my ass. I'm gonna bite my ass. Get it, girl. Still getting paid. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, so wait. Did you really give away all of your money? No, I just said that to see what Lauren would do. And she showed her true colors. Now <laughs> see, I knew that heifer was trifling, okay? <sighs> but honestly, I'm just glad that it all worked out for you in the end. Not quite. I owe you an apology. You were right. I was just so blinded by love or what I thought was love that I, I couldn't see what was obviously right in front of me. And all those things I said, I... Um, it's all forgiven. We're best friends. We say things right. We're more than just friends. We're family. For life. Yes. Come here. <laughs> this is all so beautiful. But what about the wedding? <laughs> all of my hard work to make this so special and perfect. It would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Um, you know you don't have to keep this act up, right?
She's right. It is a shame for all this to go to waste. But it doesn't have to. This is like the craziest Faye, I knew that from the moment I first saw you in kindergarten, I knew I wanted you to be my girlfriend. I was just too shy to tell you that I liked you. And as the years passed by and we grew up, fear just crippled me, keeping me from telling you how I really felt. But the love has always been there. I love you then and I love you much more than even, even now. Listen, I, I know this might seem super fast, really crazy, but I don't want to let fear dictate my life anymore. I don't want to be afraid to tell you how I feel. So. I love you so much, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Right here, right now. Don't you say his name, Moody's. Don't let fear block you from the love that you want, the love that you deserve. Yes. Yes, I will marry you, Lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, bro, can I borrow those? Yep. Now, you know you're going to have to give me my own set of rings, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just for symbolism. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Hey, Pastor, you come on back. We got a wedding to continue. Come on, baby. Put my shoe on. Like I said, <clears throat> as long as my check clears. <laughs> okay. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here tonight to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. <laughs> What's your name, son? Uh, Elijah. Elijah. Mm -hmm. Elijah, do you take... What's your name, sweetheart? Faye. Faye. <laughs> to be a lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself solely to her, and to death do you part? I do. In fact, do you take Elijah to be a lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, for richer or poorer, Keep yourself solely unto him. To death do you part? I do. <laughs> by the powers vested in me, by the state of Georgia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, I am officially signing on as a full-time teacher. No, 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 sir. That, that's that's the music playing in the background. I can I can still hear you. 
Yes. No, sir, the pleasure is indeed all mine. Yes, yes, sir, I will definitely see you after the break. Okay. Yes. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to you. Okay. Thank you. Um, so no more book tour and new books for you? Hmm. Not necessarily. So, it's my understanding that you're also a school teacher? Yes, high school teacher to be exact. That's amazing. Teachers are truly our nation's heroes. My mother was a school teacher. <laughs> I so admire the love and dedication she poured into her students. Yes, I uh, definitely love my students. Are they the reason you're hesitant about signing this deal? Yes, I love my writing and I definitely want to move forward with you. It's just that if I do this, I'll feel like I'm abandoning my students and I just don't want to do that. Why does it have to be either or? Why can't you have your writing and your students? Why can't you have both? So, I will be teaching full time. I'll be going out on the weekends, during spring break, and I'll also be able to do an extended book tour during the summer. That's the both worlds. Yeah, that's really great. Like, everything worked out in your professional life. <laughs> Sorry, it kind of didn't work out in your personal life. Mm, I mean, it didn't work out for me, but I think everything worked out the way it was supposed to. teacher who's a stickler for the rule. Mm-hmm, I bet you are. Merry Christmas, Rashad. <laughs> Merry Christmas.
okay? I want to walk you. Well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did the meeting go? Did you sign the paper? Well, exactly. Hmm. Okay, let's do that one part. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what exactly? <laughs> Bad news, uh, there are no churches available the night of Christmas Eve. Oh my Jesus! Do that again, Don't think you look in the camera. Let's try it again. Yeah, you're kind of glanced over there. You want to tell them students last week. And then he did it last week too, remember? That was purposeful. No. Mm -hmm. No. Either way, I appreciate you for all you've done for me. You coming back after the semester, right? After the break. Dang, man. <laughs> 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 what hotel did you see? So they didn't have real hotels. Okay. There was a bush where four or five people would gather. And okay. after a cow would come and leave its feces in the field, the chief would come from the village and they would have a huge ceremony where they would lift the dung high up into the air and the children would dance around. Hiya, hiya, hiya. So every time that happened at night, yeah, we all had to stare at the moon and recognize just how good God was. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was a school teacher. I loved and admired all the love and dedication. I don't love and admire and love the dedication. Goodness <laughs> uh -huh. gracious! I truly admired. The love and dedication. Alrighty. Here we go. Gosh, Lee. I was, I was brain fried too. I was Look, like, dang. It was rocking right? 95%. It just yeah. went. It went. Okay. Boop. Doop, doop. It was just amazing. And then, and then, to be able to baptize people in the very same spot. Oh, <laughs> Hello? Hey, what's happening with you, man? I got some good news for you, Kai. Gosh. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. You despise my. <laughs> that you heard me. that? I that heard was it. You. That was not that me. Was not I'm me. good. I ain't breaking. That, 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 that was not me, though. Somebody would have crossed something in their stomach. I would have felt it. I would have felt it, too. That was not me. All I'm going to say is it came from that area. <laughs> it came from. I normally claim all my body functions. That was not me. I promise. My stomach has not growled yet. Wow.